Time now, ladies and gentlemen, for the welterweights and about scheduled for three three-minute rounds. And so introducing first, the fighter standing on my left and fighting out of the black corner, a Waka world champion with a young professional record of 26 wins with just three losses. 14 of those wins coming by way of knockout. He stands six feet four inches tall, 1.90 meters, and he weighed in at 169.1 pounds, 76.7 kilos. He fights tonight out of Serbia. Please welcome Nikola Todorovic. His opponent standing on the right and fighting out of the white corner, an ISKA world champion and a European Grand Prix champion. His record impressive, 103 victories, 17 losses, one draw, and 53 career knockouts. At five feet, 10 inches tall, 1.78 meters, he weighed in at 169.5 pounds, 76.9 kilos. Fighting tonight out of France, here is the final boss, Kareem Gadget Boy, Gadji. The referee in charge of this bout is Jan Frana. Okay, fighters, to the middle. Okay, shake hands. Good luck. Listen to my comments. Follow the rules. Okay, back to the corners. Judges, time. First round. Hey. So here we go. Kareem Gaji, the 42 year old, taking Ready? on 25 year old Todorovic. And Todorovic has this high guard style where Kareem Gaji's actually going to have to get inside with this height. So. Gaji has not been very successful in glory. Just one win of five losses, which came several years ago, obviously. Ready? But Joe, he fought the creme de la creme, including yourself, the first ever Glory Hall of Fame. Yeah, but his last fight was Ready? Cedric Dumbe, and so he had to take a title fight on a couple weeks notice. So. He didn't really feel like he was at his best, so tonight's the time for him to show it. Nice calf kick there from Gachi. And you, you told me you've been really leaning on that at Bazooka Joe's Kickboxing Academy, telling these young students, don't always just throw low kicks, aim for the calves too. I think the calf is going to be eventually the number one strike here in kickboxing. I really feel like if you can utilize them well, it can be a, a great weapon in this sport as well. Hey. And defending it sounds so simple. You just turn your turn. foot open, right? Or slip and evade it. But you can see already, Gaji has been doing MMA fights, so you've already seen a couple calf kicks from him. On the outside is the best way to land them. Easily kicking the calf on the inside is the best way to break your foot. So like body work. Yeah. We've seen some knees from Todorovic as well. Hey, step big. Right when Gaji throws a punch, he throws a yeah. knee like that. That's his style, high guard. And then he catches you coming in with these knees. Ooh. Joe, I see a lot of videos of fighters uh, throwing medicine balls on their stomach and letting uh, and sparring guys just rip to their body. How do you get? How did you get your body prepared for the war? Well, I think it just comes with experience and a lot of training and sparring. You got to build what I call body armor. So it's just rounds of sparring, lots of core work to kind of go, but nothing beats just the rounds getting hit and developing that strength. But those knees from Todorovic are nasty now that he went upstairs. There's another one that froze Gaji for a second. Yeah, Gaji, you can see technical because he's a stand switcher, Whoa. but this Todorovic power seems to be too much. Yeah, Gaji in for more than perhaps he bargained for against this glory debutante. Ooh, I like that right knee, right hand combination. Very unorthodox, but effective. Wow. And Gaji just stood there and took it. And he has to take a step back now to regroup from that. That right knee, right hand is Stop. done Time. great. Nails your corner. Nails your corner. No. Nope. Coach. He wanted it dirty, Joe. He said, don't clean it. Just shove it back in my mouth. Clean. I'm from Serbia. We don't care about this kind of stuff. He had momentum. Like, OK, no more. No more. Time. Fight. Hey. Oui. Anytime I see Todorovic now open up with those knees, I'm holding my breath. 
Gaji doing the best he can, trying to get inside. Ooh. Good body work from Todorovic, now mixing that knee up. Big. What a rangy, tough fighter is Todorovic. Scary good. My mind is already going to places where we can match him. It ain't over yet. The final boss, that's the nickname. He loves low kicks and would uh, do himself good to land some more on those long legs up to Dorovich. He's a two-time Bellator champion and a former ISKA K1 world champion. Nikola Todorovic, my conditioning, length, and aggressiveness make me very dangerous. And I agree with that. That's what his big strategy is, and that's what he does in all of his fights, signature strikes, like we're seeing on display, punches and knees, and outside of the ring, and smart man as well, an electrical engineer. I think he, believe he says he does computer software. Yep, there are those knees, off rhythm, punch knee combinations, high guard style. Second out. One thing he needs is a custom mouth guard. That wasn't even a big shot that knocked it up. So round two, let's see how the judges scored that first round. Four giving it to Dorovic, one to Gaji. Ooh, Gaji loading up with that big of hand. Well, Gaji's giving it everything he's got. Be careful. As he always does. Yep. Just solid and powerful. Very hard to move. Todorovic's body shots and then these off rhythm. Oh, and a nice left there from Todorovic. God, you just can't get out of the way of those punches. They're so short and quick, too, Joe, and they come usually after a knee or a kick land, Ooh. and there's a perfectly timed one again. Yeah, he just fires out of that high guard so well, and you don't know what's coming. Is it a punch, kick, or knee? It's a scary fighter. Then went up high. A red mark over the right eye. Now for Todorovic. Only three losses in 29 fights for Todorovic. Fighting out of Warrior Gym in Serbia. I still don't see how you can be six foot two and be a welterweight. I just don't understand. Yeah, there's been a lot of tall welterweights. I'm 6'2", and I feel like I'm in shape. <laughs> I weigh 200 pounds. Yeah, you got to think of someone like Chico Quasi now. Right, very tall, very rangy. The Myrtle Grunharts. How much weight did you have to cut back in the day to Ooh. be well to it? Nice knee again. Uh, about from the start of my camp, maybe 25, 30 pounds. Took me eight weeks, though. Gaji hasn't thrown a knee. <laughs> Totorovic has landed 15. Good thing it's not a knee kicking contest, or would that even be a, a knee kneeing contest, I guess? Well, let's see if the, the fight continues into this third and the Gaji experience adds up. I mean, I can't believe he took so many knees and just doesn't even flinch and keeps coming forward. Ooh. Good left hook. Yeah, off of a nice quick counter. Well done. He doesn't rear back and fire, does he? It's almost like a push punch, but it's got snap on it. Yeah, it goes. That's a good combo from Gaji. Nice level change from Todorovic. Busy round for Gaji. Let's see if the judges give him credit. That was great pressure from Gaji. Stayed in his face the entire time. But the bigger shot's still coming from Todorovic. Glory makes its first ever visit to Burgos, Bulgaria, along the Black Sea for Glory 89 on October 7th. The event will be headlined by local sensation and third-ranked Stoyan Koplovinsky. And Petch Panmaron will defend his featherweight title for the seventh time. Levy Richters looks to qualify for the year in Glory Grand Prix. A lot of great storylines coming your way October 7th.
Okay. Final round. Time. Fight. Third and final round. Again, Todorovic goes to the body. All five giving that round to the Serbian, so Gaji needs a bit of magic. Yeah, Gaji's pressure is doing well. I'm just, I'm thinking the refs are seeing the bigger shots, the knees. Even though a lot of those knees aren't landing, they seem close, but... I know, Gaji's still doing well. Remember, Nikola Todorovic, 17 years younger than Kareem Gaji. Gaji's still looking as young as when he started. He doesn't age. He yes. found the fountain of youth here in France. His output hasn't slowed down. That's incredible. When does a fighter normally find their man strength? Because Todorovic is only 25. I mean, it's different for everybody, but uh, I mean, I would say a maturity when it comes to combat sports. I would say late 20s, 30s. And you see some of these young guys develop really well early. We got some a 21-year-old coming up in Latescu that you're going to see probably hit his prime a lot earlier than that. Big, strong boy. Mouthpiece out again for Todorovic. No more. No more. Time. Fight. You don't want to lose a point over something stupid like that. Letting your mouthpiece fall out. We've seen this before. Yeah. A lot of fighters just get the generic off-the-shelf mouthpiece instead of getting one fitted. There's an uppercut from Gaj. You still throw, and there's a nice flurry from Todorovic. Punctuated by a low kick, and another one. Blink! Step back! Ooh, he on the inside, a minute to go. Gaji's got to find a way to put this big fella down. Yeah, I mean, Gaji's trying. He's pressuring, ripping the body. He's now gone to a Philly shell style, which means he's looking to box. Blink! This Paris crowd showing their respect for Kareem Gaji, who's been fighting for well over 20 years. Well, they like there that uppercut. Is. Cheering the veteran on. Well, he's no winning this round, it seems. Hey. Ooh, good rip, good counter from Todorovic. Nice little exchange. Blink. Well, the effort certainly wasn't lacking from Kareem Gaji. Nope, the pressure was good. The inside tactics was good. I just think Todorovic just had that little bit of edge when it came to damage. They'll hug it out. And I'm sure that was a very special moment either way for Nikola Todorovic to be able to fight someone with the career that Kareem Gaji's had. The decision from Paris when we return. We welcome you back to the blistering hot Dome de Paris as Kareem Gaji just wrapped up his fight with Nikola Todorovic. Yeah, and I mean, the veteran versus the youngster. Kareem Gaji with some fantastic pressure on the inside, hitting the body, uppercuts, but Todorovic did a good job at using these knees, off rhythm combinations. The judges had him, you know, winning those rounds, but the pressure didn't stop. The output from Todorovic was there. And I just think this young man has still a lot to learn, but still ready to take on some big names. And I think he'll bring an exciting fighting style to the, the welterweight division. So we're excited to see how he develops. But anytime you fight Kareem Gaji, you're in for a tough one. Indeed, as we look at the strike count statistics, and both of these men, 50% accurate, which is very impressive, similar number of strikes. But you know that Todorovic had a little bit more pop on his, or at least it seemed that way. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight goes the distance, so once again, we go to the judges' scorecard. Here now are the totals. Two judges score the bout 29-28. The three remaining judges all see it 30-27. It's a unanimous decision for your winner. 
Nikola Todorovic. I'm here with your winner, Nikola. A tough fight. You had a tough fighter in Kareem Gaji. Give me your thoughts on winning your debut. I don't have power for smoking, sweetie. Kareem Gaji is a very tough guy. I know I have a very, very big respect for him. Like I said, you, when I started this competition, I saw his fight, and this time I have opportunity to fight with him. So I, I need to thank you to Karim for this fight and for Broly for this opportunity. Thank you. I'm going to ask you one more question here. It was a very technical fight from you. How good was this fight technically for you? Because my style of fighting is pressure, but tonight Karim is more than ready. And he made, made the pressure, and I don't know what to say yet. Yeah. All right, I'll let you rest, but we're excited to see you back. Let's hear it for your winner, Nikola Todorovic.